watch at 5.30 on today's program. If you're like a lot of people, you probably made a New Year's resolution. Well, today we're going to tell you how to keep that New Year's resolution. If you haven't made one, we'll also help you out as well. We'll tell you how to set a goal for the year 2007 and especially how to keep it. That is the main focus of one of the segments on today's show. We'll talk with success coach Lynn Jacob of MLJ Consulting about that. And also on the show today, we have some fit tips for you. We have some parenting tips. And we'll also tell you about a retreat put on by Ted Co. for women in business. That's coming up a little bit later on in the show. But joining us now, right here in studio, we have Lynn Jacob. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you for inviting me. And I guess it's, a, it's going to be a prosperous year, right? 2007 is supposed to be a good year for everyone. A lot of success. Absolutely. This is what we're hoping for. Anyway. Well, that's right. It's the seventh year in the new millennium, and there's a lot of power in the number seven. So it will be. Well, for a lot of us to have success, first thing is that we have to set a goal, regardless mm -hmm. of what that is, regardless of what area you're trying to achieve something in. And some people look at the new year as a perfect time to set those goals. Mm -hmm. They call them, of course, resolutions. Right. Before we get into uh, how to keep the resolutions, we have to start with how you set that resolution or goal. Mm -hmm. That's right. And so uh, I suggest to everybody that you set a really good goal, one that excites you and compels you toward the goal so that you don't have to push yourself. The goal is actually drawing you. And so put a little bit of risk into it. That will make it exciting. And they're always the best goals. Another thing is make the goals only for you. Don't make a goal that involves someone else's action or results so that you can get to yours. It is only about you. And another one is make sure there is no should in there when you're making a goal. Should is giving advice and we don't give ourselves advice. Mm -hmm. We either do something or we don't do something. So if there's a should in it, listen to who's telling you that. It's somebody else's voice. That's not your goal. Now what about try? We should, probably shouldn't put that in there either. Absolutely not. Even Yoda said. That's right. As Yoda said, there is no try. That's right. right. Exactly. So, so there's some great ideas on how to set your goal. And once you've set them, I guess the next step is keeping it or, or keeping uh, the work towards it, making sure that you do achieve this. So how do you make sure that uh, you, you stay on course? Well, it's just like the business that, that you want to do. You want to develop your business. You have to do a lot of planning. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to set a time, the same day, same time, every week. For example, uh, maybe a Sunday. One of my clients uh, set her time for herself on Sunday mornings. Every Sunday morning it was just for her. So if you're working on a goal, sit down with yourself for about an hour to reflect on how you're going to get to that goal this week. So every little step that you take has got to be going towards the goal. So you're almost setting mini goals along the way Absolutely. to achieving the long-term goal. Absolutely. And that's obviously a good process to be doing that. So it gives you something to, to, to achieve along the way. Exactly. And that's another thing is you want to do the SMART test. That your goal has to be specific, measurable, achievable, rewarding, and timed. So that means that it has to have a due date on it. So all these little mini goals have to be reached before your next meeting with yourself on reaching your goal. It's inevitable that people are going to uh, come to obstacles. Absolutely. They're going to get in the way regardless of what it is. They'll have moments of doubt regardless of what your goal is as mm -hmm. to whether or not you can achieve it or not. Mm -hmm. How do you get over those obstacles or through them? Well, the doubt is coming from a little gremlin that's inside your mind that's been conditioned by society and upbringing and peers and so many things. So in fact, what you want to do is honor that, listen to the doubt, prepare yourself for the worst case scenario, and follow your intuition. Your intuition never lies to you, and doubt often confuses you. Sometimes the last... Uh few moments before you get to that goal are always the diff most difficult because you're so close and it's almost easy to ease up a little bit and not continue to, to work as hard as you have been over the past few weeks or months, whatever mm -hmm. it is in, in taking you uh, to get to that goal. Mm -hmm. How do you stay motivated when you're so close to it but you're just, you know, how do you put that extra little effort? Well, the two missing ingredients that I talk about in my ebook are support and accountability. We don't often get enough support for ourselves. They could be in the form of resources, maybe taking a course to give us knowledge, which is power, or it may be having the right people on our team. We need a cheerleader. 
a few cheerleaders. So it's okay to tell people about your goal? Absolutely, absolutely, but you want to tell the right people about it. It's not always our family who wants to see us reach our goals because then they don't know what's in it for them. You know, how is it going to change? So it may not be family, and that's no fault of the family, but get some good cheerleaders. And your cheerleader may not be your accountability partner. You need an accountability partner, somebody who will give you that proverbial kick in the butt when you need it. When you're getting close and yet you're falling off track, that accountability partner will be there and you need a system for accountability which includes not only consequences but mainly rewards which keeps you going. Yeah, that's a great point to make because sometimes you need, uh, it depends on, on what state you're in. Sometimes you need a little kick in the butt from someone mm -hmm. to, to keep you on track. Sometimes you need that confidence boost mm -hmm. when uh, your doubt is uh, taking over. So Absolutely. those are two great points to have two different people who can support you in that case. Mm -hmm. Let's say you've reached your goal. Finally, all that hard work has come to fruition and you've reached your goal. Mm -hmm. Now what? How do you maintain it? How do you stay at that level for whatever uh, you've, you've tried to reach? Well, this goes back to the beginning when you were setting the goal. You have to identify what the benefits are to you. The real benefits, not just the, the secondary, tertiary benefits, but the real ones right at the end. And if it's a compelling enough goal, once you get there, then you're basking in the glory of having reached it and you want more. And so, you just continue to set more goals and keep on going. That's usually the way it works and it's a positive process that you can live uh, throughout the rest of the year, perhaps the rest of your life, by following these steps, that's for sure. Absolutely, no. don't stop. Just keep going. Keep going. Rest on your goals, maybe for a little bit, but keep in mind that they, let's move forward. Right? Exactly. Excellent. Yeah. People can get more information about how to set their goals, uh, reach them, and achieve them through your ebook, right? And yes, that's right. And in fact, I just decided right now that I'm going to offer the ebook for free to the first seven people who buy it as a result of watching this program. Nice. So go on my website at www.mljcoaching.com and go to eProducts and the ebook. So they'll have to register and buy it, and then I'll refund their money for the first seven people. And I'll be happy to publish the names of the seven recipients. Excellent. Well, there you go. If you've ever wanted to achieve, regardless of what your goal is, uh, all of the advice that Lynn gave today applies to anything, whether it be trying to lose weight, uh, trying to achieve something career-wise, maybe uh, personality-wise, perhaps something with your family. Regardless of what it is, follow these steps and you can hopefully reach your goal and you can also maintain that level as well. So make sure you log on to Lynn's website if you'd like more information on that. Speaking of which, a lot of you probably have resolutions